Hello everyone. Today I wanted to look at, um, well, in fact, two different things. I wanted to look at Retrolog in Steinberg in Cubase, um, which is a synth, a synth that's built into Cubase itself. What we're going to look at with Retrolog is how to create white noise. Um, so rather than synth sounds, we're just going to create purely white noise. The reason I want to do this is to show you how we can actually use a compressor to um, use a compressor as a, a side chain. So therefore, when an instrument hits, it's going to bring the, it's going to compress the white noise and then bring it down in volume. So we're going to use Retrolog for um, white noise and white noise is used in lots of dance music and EDM music, but it's also it does have its place in all kinds of music because with digital recording now being so clinical, everything's so clean, the DA converters and everything that you're using in your, in your DAW, white noise can add a bit of background noise sometimes. In fact, artists are quite often here of uh, um, quite well-known artists actually using all kinds of background noise in their recordings because now modern recordings are so clean they'll perhaps use someone I've read used um, a recording of a train station other people have been on top of buildings getting background noise and just have it very low in the mix just to add something to you know so things aren't quite so clinical in your recordings but anyway we're going to look at that using white noise to do that but in order to use white noise and this technique called side chaining, what we have to do is use a compressor. Now, a compressor is a dynamic effect, and I want to spend much longer on compressors, so I'll probably do a whole video on compressors, how compressors work, and types of compressors. But basically, if we just know for this lesson, it's a dynamic effect. So what it's going to do, it affects the volume or the amplitude of the waveform itself. So everything going in you set a threshold and what happens is anything over that threshold gets compressed and you can, so that will reduce in volume. You can adjust the amount, so whatever goes in above the threshold, the amount coming out the other side, which I'll show you as well. But if you think of a compressor, well, the way we're gonna use a compressor, if you think of it in broadcast, so, you know, on a radio channel, when a DJ talks, the music suddenly ducks down. That's a ducking compressor and that's what we're gonna do with a side chain. So, when our kick hits it's going to duck the white noise away so it's going to lower the volume of the white noise and then the compressor is going to turn off and that's the release and then it's going to come back to the the volume we've set it at so the compressor will duck the music down and that's exactly the same as djs on the radio they do the same thing whenever they talk the background music or the music playing goes much quieter and then when they stop the music comes back so it's basically like riding a fader, they used to call it. But if you if you picture an old mixing desk or a mixing desk in a DAW, you know you've got the volume faders. It's actually automatically doing that fader um, riding for you. And in fact, you can get, which is very similar to a compressor, loads of um, software developers now produce, um, they call them vocal riders or wave riders. And basically, it will actually look ahead and see all the peaks of a waveform and actually use a volume control to do that. And some people prefer to do that rather than a compressor. But basically, if we just think for now, a compressor is lowering, lowering the volume over a set threshold that we're gonna um, set in the compressor. And it basically, yes, yeah, so it's bringing down your volume and we can adjust everything else to work with it. But let's, we're, let's rather than me rambling on, let's have a look. So first of all, Retrolog, let's create an instrument. So we know for, for creating an instrument inside Cubase, it's the um, F11 key. And we looked at this before. So if you're unsure of that, go back to some of the earlier videos. So, and then here we go, add instrument. Retrolog is under synths here. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna go add track. There we go. Now, there's Retrolog at the moment, that's the standard setting that comes up, but we don't want this oscillator on here. So all of these things create sounds here, but we're gonna just switch it off. So now we haven't got anything in Retrolog, but what we're gonna do is bring in noise. So the little noise switch there comes on, and there's our white noise. Now, with white noise, there are actually different types of white noise, or there's pink noise and stuff, but we're, for this, for this now otherwise we'll you know the video will go on and on but we're going to look at just white noise so i've made an instrument track i've switched all the oscillators off and i've just gone to a white noise i've got 
bar one to two highlighted. So when that's in a loop, they're just gonna loop round. So in Retrolog, let's just make this a different color for now, but here we go. So I've just clicked in that area, this blank area, and this creates sort of a blank canvas in order for us to write some information in. So I've just double clicked in that area. Now I'll double click again, and you know this brings up the piano roll, which we've looked at. And because this is noise, it doesn't have a tonal key or anything. We're just going to be, I'll just put an F, but if I wanted to move that, it's not going to make any difference. So now, I've got some horrible white noise, but it has got a use. Okay, now, so we know how now to use Retrolog to produce, to create white noise. Let's now put something in, so we're going to put a kick drum, because this is using dance music, it doesn't have to be a kick, I've seen people use um, hi-hats with vocals and all sorts of things, so when the hi-hats play, or the vocals come in, the hi-hats get reduced, and vice versa, so you can you can use it on anything um, side chaining, but predominantly it's used on a kick drum and in dance music, so let's just go into media, um, we're going to look at um, media bass, so remember that was the F5 for the shortcut, and let's just go Instead of a vocal, which I was looking at last time, let's just get a kick drum. So, oh. it doesn't matter which one, but that one's got a bit of a shorter tail on it. So, I'll double click, and there it is in my track. So, if I just expand this out, I've got, oh, I said it was two bars, so I've got a one bar loop. Sorry, I've just noticed, but here you go. So, remember left click wherever you want it to go with it down so it's highlighted press alt and let go of left click that's how you duplicate so you left click on it drag it wherever you want it with left click still down press alt and let go of left click it's, it's a little bit of a funny technique now but you will get used to it if you practice it so now if i play great we've got a kick drum and we've got white noise but now Let's see what this compressor, if we start using this sidechain effect. So I'm going to go to F3 to bring up my mixer. And here, here's my white noise. And here's the kick. So I could change that if I want to, but we know we've looked at that before on videos. So in Retrolog, on the channel strip itself, I'm going to use compress a compressor as an insert. So it's a dynamic effect, remember, as we discussed before. So we go to Dynamics. Just click on compressor, and we've got this sort of thing comes on. So this is our compressor, and this has got the things we were talking about before. So we'll go through all of these, the attack and the release and stuff. But let's just, let's not worry about those at the moment. We'll, we'll, we can experiment with that in a minute. The one thing you want to do is put this thing on here, and this is called Activate Side Chain. So what that's going to do is almost create a send for it. So now if I go to the kick drum sends, I'll be able to see it in there, hopefully. So we'll come back to the compressor and get this working in a minute, but let's just set the threshold a bit lower. And you can actually, the great thing about um, DOWs nowadays, you can actually see what it's doing. So you see, I've got the threshold there. I've brought it right down. So now a lot more of the music is gonna be compressed. If we had it up here, only a slight bit would be compressed, but we'll, we'll check that out. Okay, sorry. And we'll come out of that. So, we've set the compressor. We've got side chain activated. Now on my kick drum, if I scroll down, we know this was my kick here. I'm actually going to bring in the side chain. And you see here, we, we set up a reverb channel before, a reverb um, effects channel. But now, we've got this option now to, because we initiated side chain, on the compressor before, I can actually load that in, switch him on because he when I first switch when I first went to it, it's not on, so it's just the top left. And now if I play, can you see how that's now affecting that white noise? So with it off, that's our white noise of the kick, and then with it on, it's actually taking that white noise. The compressor every time the kick's hitting, it's the compressor's compressing the white noise down. So that's how you use a compressor 
to make a side chain on white noise. So now, from this video, we know how to load Retrolog, create white noise, add a compressor, get that side, the activate side chain, and then remember whatever you want to be the trigger for the, the side chain to come on is down here and you send. So you can do it on all kinds of instruments, but of course kick is a great one because the kick is generally keeping the pulse of the music and also in EDM music, it's that sound and it's used on, it's not only white noise, you could use it on synths. If you listen to stuff in the charts now or um, popular music in general, there's, it could be on guitar, synths, all kinds of things. You'll hear that sort of pumping. Sometimes they use it so heavily that you can actually hear it, you feel it drawing the music in and out, but that's it, that's sidechain that does it. Okay, good luck.